Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and uh, today I'm going to be doing my review on my Zim Edge. And uh, as you can see, I have my controller hooked up. I just bought it today. Today was Boxing Day, but uh, the day this is uploaded, it should be Thursday, so the day after Boxing Day, but whatever. So there's my controller hooked up in the first port, my keyboard in the second port, and my mouse in the third port. So, um... Pretty much all I'm going to say about this is it's epic and works perfectly. I've had no problems with it at all. It's amazing. And uh, I'm really surprised how how awesome it is and how much I like it. But anyways, um, I guess I can talk about one of the main features about this. And uh, why it's different from other console or not consoles, uh, adapters. And, uh, excuse me, i got to sneeze. Oh, never mind. My eyes are just watering now. Okay, anyways. One of the cool things is the Xbox controller stays in or plugged in the whole time you're playing. So I can plug in my Turtle Beach headset right there. I can plug it into here if I want because I can. So I can talk to my home dogs. And um, another thing is normally when you're remapping your controls, you need to plug this into your computer. But with this, you don't. All you need to do um, is hit start and back at the same time on your Xbox controller and then the lights will start flashing a different color than they normally one or w were like as you can see it was red before when it was in play mode now it's in uh, config mode so now what I can do is say I want A to be jump and I want like A is normally jump and say I want jump to be spacebar on my keyboard I'll hit A here on my controller and then spacebar on my keyboard and uh... It would bind the keys right there. So it would bind A to spacebar, and then you obviously like bind everything else that you want to be binded. And then when you're done, you just hit uh, back and space, or not back and space, back and start again, and it stops. And um, one thing I'm going to tell you guys about is um, sensitivity. I had to YouTube how to like adjust the sensitivity because I wasn't sure. But uh, to adjust the sensitivity, when you're in config mode, um. The only thing that doesn't work is, like, shooting and stuff. But, like, you can still move around the mouse and, like, walk, I'm pretty sure. Uh, unless I just wasn't in config mode and I was walking around. And I thought I was configuring the keyboards, but I wasn't. But, uh, anyways, to edit the sensitivity, if you want to edit the hip leg sensitivity, you just don't ADS. And uh, you keep tapping up on your D-pad and it raises the sensitivity. And then, obviously, to edit the aim down sights sensitivity, you just aim down sights and hit up again. So, now if I hit stop or back and start, I'll show you what it does. See how it goes back to the normal color? That's when I hit start and back. And uh, everything's good now. So, another thing, uh, I don't know if it will do it. Cause oh, yeah, it does. So, this is just default on the system when you're ADSing. Like when it's showing that you're about the ADS, so I have right click for ADS. So I just click that, and that happens every time I click it. It just rapidly changes colors, showing me that I'm ADSing, just so I know. And then if you're going too fast of a sensitivity, I don't think it will do it because I'm not in game. But if you are moving the mouse too fast, like I am right now, it uh, the lights will wrap or rapidly. Like light up, showing that um you're hitting the sensitivity cap and you should lower it, or else it's gonna like jam every uh, once in a while. But like yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. And uh, I haven't tested the headset yet to see if like the mic and shit works, but I won't see why not because I just plug it in here and everything should work. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if one of you guys, like, if you guys want to game like this on console, because you don't have enough money to spend, like, a thousand bucks on a good gaming PC, then, uh, I would go with the Zim Edge if you're looking for an adapter. So, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, here's my friend here that's gonna say bye for me. Peace.